Sisters, Andrews. Yes. Got to double check the bib there. Uh, <laughs> second place in the Wanna Make a Mile. Second year in a row, right? Yeah, second, how, how second you feel year in a row. That? Um, that one felt a lot easier than last year's. Um, I feel really strong. I was really happy to come out and wear the OAC uniform for the first time. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with it. I definitely was going for the win and um, took my chance with the 400 meters out, but uh, still need a couple more gears to get going. Do you think you had her? Um, at one point I did, yeah, with 200 to go, if I had, I thought I could do it, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, what's what's changed for you, like, from last year to this year? You see pretty similar results, but a lot yeah. of stuff happened in between. Um, so last year we went pretty hard on the indoor season to make that world's team um, indoors, and that went really well, really happy. Um, I strained my hamstring early in the outdoor season, and I kept, like, pushing back my first race, but I felt like I ran the whole season just, like, super tense and nervous about my leg. Um, I was strong, but I definitely wasn't sharp. Um, that's why I raced like all the way through the summer, but I think I think my confidence was a little bit shot and I just was kind of mentally drained. And this year I've had a great fall build. Um, doing a ton of strength work. I've just been working out with Alicia the last few months. Um, I wish I could have run the race two weeks ago. I think that would have really helped me today, but my hammy was a little, acting out a little bit. So waited to open up here, which was like a little bit of a shock, but I felt really strong. So How long have you been training with Alicia? Since I moved out December 24th and she came back like January 1st and I pretty much exclusively been working out with her just doing 5k work. What's the difference in training with OAC versus Fox? Um, a lot of the Fox work I did alone. I had Robbie working out with me so I haven't been able to work out with women which is really fun and um, I definitely been doing my workouts are a lot longer. It's like a longer strength workout compared to Fox's. Um, we would like do a little bit more VO2, but it was shorter. Um, and then our longer stuff was out on the dirt. Now I'm doing like threshold on the track, which is a little different, but it feels really good because it's super controlled on the track. So it feels pretty smooth. Did you need to have this good race to get your confidence back? Or were you already feeling confident about where you were at? Um, I think working out with Alicia and like just adjusting to the altitude and feeling like I'm doing everything has made me feel pretty confident. I think I didn't really need this race to validate that, but I think starting off that strong where I let off last year is a really good sign. Do you have any other indoor races planned or what's the plan um, for the rest of the Yeah, race? I think I'm going to go run the BU Last Chance meet in two weeks because I miss Dr. Sanders and I just want to just run a fast time and race, yeah. So. Where did you get the confidence like that? She wasn't picking it up and I just felt like I had more to give and I didn't want it. I could I was like debating if I should just sit to the last lap, but I'm someone where like my kick needs to be a little bit longer than just like a straight sprint finish. So I was like I'd rather just go longer because right now I just feel really strong, not sharp. When she came back up on you, what was going through your head? I was just trying to like re re reconnect, but um I just didn't I didn't have it. <laughs> 1500 or 5k this year? You know, Dathan doesn't know. He um, he says he's been like pleasantly surprised with my 5k work right now, but I'm going to run a 5k early in the outdoor season, but I just want to get it out of the way early and then run more 15s. Um, I want to do the 1500 at the Diamond Leagues because it's just the best event at the Diamond League and you get to race it back to back. But um, yeah, I'm going to pace the 10k. Um, at the 10 in a couple weeks for Alicia, and then she's gonna pace me in a 5k a month later, so right. yeah. <laughs> and workouts, who's dropping who, or how's it, how's it shake out? We've been pretty, we've been pretty even. Um, Alicia does do another like uh, rep usually, like Thursday we did mile repeats, she did six, I did five, and then Sunday we did five sets of 800, uh, 300, and she just did five sets, and I did five sets, and um, I think I help her with the quicker stuff, and she helps me with the strength stuff, so it's been, we've been clicking really well, and Robbie's been helping us too, so we've kind of just been sitting on Robbie for a lot of workouts. Yeah, how many workouts does he help you guys with? He's paced our last five workouts, okay. yeah, and then he paced Alicia in her time trial, so um, yeah, we've been, he's been very helpful to us, and Alicia's never worked out with anybody, so I think she likes it. <laughs> Unbelievable. I think we knew he was going to be able to do it. Like, just watching him work out, it's um, effortless. 
So I think I was uh, banking on him to get it this time. It's just like, it's really cool to see it. And like, I get to watch them and practice every day. It's like, I feel like I'm on the I'm on the best team in the world. So I just feel like I have all the pieces set up and it's really cool to be part of it. What's the most amazing thing you've seen doing practice? Um, I mean, the time trial that they did that other week was like unbelievable. I really wanted to do the mile with Alicia, but Nathan wanted me not to do it. Um, so um, I think that was pretty epic just because like they just came back and then it was it was like a no big deal workout for them. So um, that's the biggest thing I've seen so far, but a lot more probably to come. <laughs> well, nice race out there. Thank you.